Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root your HTC Legend. Uh, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar if you're not already there, and then search for our How to Root the HTC Legend Procedure. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to create a gold card. A uh, gold card is a micro SD card that we've kind of changed a little bit in order to allow us to load whatever we want on the phone. Um, so click on the link right there on how to create a gold card procedure. And finish doing that, make sure that you've done it correctly, read every little thing. A lot of people mess up with the physical disk versus logical disk, etc. So just read it very carefully when you're doing it. Once you're done, you should have a gold card created. You can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, next you need to download the rooting tools for the legend. So click on the link that says legend rooting tools and download that. Okay, once you download that, you're going to right click it, hit extract all. And then we're going to just put C in there. So it's just, oops, so it's just C colon slash and then hit extract. Okay, once it's done extracting, you should be able to click on the C drive and see the R4 legend root folder right there with all the stuff inside. Okay, once you're done that, you're going to turn off your legend. Okay, we're going to put our gold card into the phone. I've already done that. And then we're going to hold down volume down and power to turn the phone back on until it says fast boot and where it says fast boot we're going to hit power to select it and now that we're in fast boot mode we're going to plug the phone in and set down. If your phone still says H boot up here um, make sure that you hit power again on the word fast boot so that fast boot USB shows up here once Fastboot USB shows up, then we can go to the next step. Okay, now we're going to open our folder that we just extracted to the C drive, the R4 Legend root, and we're going to double click the step one windows.bat file, hit run, and a command prompt should pop up and begin flashing. Okay, once you're done, it should bring you back to this menu here. We're going to use the volume buttons and the power button to select stuff. So we're going to select bootloader first. Then we're going to push down on the volume button. Oh, wait for it to finish. Now we're going to push volume down. Select recovery by pushing power. Your phone should then reboot to this exclamation point screen. Once it does that, you're going to double click the step 2.windows bat. Hit run. And wait for the command prompt to pop up and finish doing what it does. Okay, once it's done, uh, the custom recovery type menu will show up. You can use the trackball to scroll down to white, push it, trackpad, excuse me, and then we're gonna push wipe data factor reset, press the button to continue, and let it finish wiping. Once it's done, you're gonna scroll down to wipe Dalvik cache, press the trackpad to wipe that as well. Now we're going to hit volume back, excuse me, volume down to go back, and we're going to scroll down to flash zip from SD card, select that, and we're going to select the rooted update dot zip, push it again to confirm, and wait for it to install. Eventually it'll say install from SD card complete, and you're going to push reboot system now. And wait for it to reboot. Okay, once it's done flashing and you've rebooted, you are now on uh, pretty much the same stock ROM, but now you have root access and super user, etc. So you're all set. If that's all you wanted, you want you can now use any root required app. Uh, if you want to continue and load a custom ROM and do those kind of things, then continue to our next procedure. The link's at the bottom of the page. Enjoy.